Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in again. Um, this video will be a short review of the uh, Think Vision from Lenovo, the uh, T23i. Um, I haven't sold this yet so I'm curious how it will perform and how it will look. So uh, let's go ahead and unpack this. What do you get in the box? The foot, I think. Yes. That's one. What else? Oh, you get a display port cable. Nice. Yeah, the standard uh, VGA cable is also included. And a USB. Now, um, you're gonna see me struggle unboxing this. I think it should be this way. Not sure. Let's see. Okay, that went easy. Let's see. Put this, okay, it lifts out. That's nice. That's a cool package. So, what else is in here? Ah, power cable. And I think this is the mount, yes. So, that's a uh, good package. So, let's see. This is, yeah, the mount for the monitor. And let's see if I can lift this out. Yeah. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, lift it out carefully. I'm going to put it down on the table. Let's see if I can reach inside. Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave it for a minute here. Now, as you can see, we're going to start from the bottom. The power supply, that's obvious. You get a HDMI, display port, VGA, uh, USB, and yes, my sound also. I didn't know that. Uh, didn't look in the specs if there was sound available. So that's the back. As you can see, this mounts very well with this click system. There we go. I think it comes up loose easily by releasing this lever and just pulling out. Now, I'm going to show you the front already. It has a very thin Size thin uh, border, so it's pretty neat. And the top one is, yeah, it's wise, but it fits, I think, with the uh, control buttons here. So, pretty neat, I think. Um, so far, not disappointed. So, uh, let's go ahead and mount this together and see how it looks on my laptop. Okay, this one's easy. If you can see it, there we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and put on the bottom. Just uh, three easy pins which come which you align and then you slide it in. There we go. That was easy. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna set it right upright. Let's remove this a little bit neater. And now let's hook it up on the power and laptop. Let me just readjust the camera also so you can see better. Um, yeah, no. 
let's see. I'm going to turn off the light. Okay, I hooked it up on my laptop. Hope it's not too dark now because it's starting to get evening here now. Um, I wanted to show you uh, that... No, before I start, I wanted to show you something else, which I forgot. Obviously, you can turn on its pedestal, but on the side here, you can see it. You have another USB port hub. Uh, since you can connect the USB here, then it's possible to connect other devices on the side. So that's pretty handy. If you have two, uh, if you don't have much, uh, don't have many USB ports. Um, as before, I want to, to go continue and show the video or the settings. Some specs. This is a full HD. Um, so it's 1080p. Uh, what else? It's a 16 by 9, of course. Uh, I pulled up the specs here, as you can see on the right. So it's 250 CD brightness. Uh, it has uh, HDMI 1.4. I uh, think the Display Port version is somewhere here too. Yes, Display Port 18. That's the modes. It's an IPS. Refresh it for milliseconds. I think it's fast enough to game. Uh, gamers out there, correct me if I'm wrong. If you need faster refresh time, don't ask 4K. I know it's not a 4K. It's not for the high-end gamers. Uh, so HDMI here, Display Port 1.2. Oh, and the warranty period is three years. That's nice. It's a business model, I think, again. Don't think it's a pure gaming, but you can watch pretty good videos on it. 1080p, not 4K. Okay, but um, not everyone has the money for it. So, let's go ahead. So, I have put in the uh, resolution on uh, 1920 by uh, 1080, so it can view the full 1080p. And I put up a video here to see if there is. I hooked it up with the HDMI cable, so I'm not sure if the sound is getting through the HDMI cable because it didn't set it up yet. So let's pause that. Let's see if it's on the. No, that's my old screen. It should sound up here. So let's continue with the testing of the screen. Uh, let's see, this is in full 1080p, yes. So this looks, well, pretty fine. So, um, I don't know if you can see it, maybe if I put it a bit closer. Um, there is still a border here between the screen itself and the border of the screen. I don't know if you can see it very well. Sometimes in the white, you just... I don't know if it's the setting or if it's not. So, on the bottom there is no border. On the top, there's also a border. I'm not sure if it's the screen or the settings or of my screen settings. But a pretty good, pretty good quality. 
So before we close this video up, I uh, want to show you the menu. On uh, this side here, you can call up the menu and it's pretty neat. Um, it's pretty intuitive menu, reacts very well. You can go in the menu like this or go back, back, back. So normally you get this one. This is the arrow keys. You can select which one you want to adjust. Let's say brightness. Click OK. As you can see, and brightness here, more or less. So that looks fine. You can cancel with this one. Cancel again if you want to go to another on the options. OK. Let's go ahead and display the information. You can do a lot with this. So um, the language here also, you can change the language if you want. Let's see French, Italian, Chinese, Spanish. I think I'm wrong. Don't uh, shoot me. Sorry. I don't know the difference between Chinese and Japanese. So Dutch, Polish maybe. So oh, yeah, I'm going to leave it on English anyway. Um, yeah, and that was the review of this uh, Lenovo ThinkVision 23i uh, series. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, yeah, thumbs down. Um, I will try to uh, put in the description link in the video below. And yeah, if you've been watching, thank you for watching.